Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and I appreciate each and every one of you. And today what we're going to do is we are going to introduce this little guy to you. And this is the Yaystar PBX system. Now before we take a look at this actual PBX and the module that I have for it, what we're going to do is uh, I want to tell you just a little bit about the Yaystar company and a little bit about this product. So Yaystar has been in business since 2006 and their main line of business is PBX's cloud-based and on-premise PBX and they also make gateways. Now one of the things about their PBX systems, their on-prem systems, is that they're modular. So that means they sell little boards that you can snap into it. And this is a module. That's what this is. You can buy different modules that provide different functionality and then it just expand the system. So that's, you know, there are some other systems that do that. And, but that's one of the things that they are really proud of, all the, the different modules that you can have. They do have uh, two worldwide headquarters. One is in Texas, one is in China. They have 100 plus staff and over 100,000 uh, installs of the product. Now, the product that we're gonna be dealing with on the channel is the S series PBX. And that's, that's what this is. This is one of the S series. This is actually the S20. And so the S20 has two module slots on the inside and we're going to open this up and take a look. The S20 can also support 20 users and 10 concurrent calls. The modules that are available are the S2 and that's what this is. This is the S2 module which is a two port FXS card. You can get the O2 which is a two port FXO card. You can get the SO, which is one FXS, one FXO port. You can get the B2, which is two BRI ports. You can get a GSM card, a 3G card, and a 4G card, all for this little S20. And you're gonna you're gonna look at this here in a minute and see see how small this unit really is. They do have a couple larger models, the S100 and the S300, and those can actually take eight port cards, but they can also do a T1E1 PRI card. So if you're needing that T1E1 PRI functionality, you do have to go up in the models. Now, like I said, we are using, this is just gonna be the S20, we're gonna open this up. The other thing that they do provide with their PBXs is if you have a bunch of these installed for your customers all over the place, you can manage all of the Yaystar PBXs from one, one console, which is super, super awesome. So that's something else that they've got going. So let's take a look at this S20, and then we'll take a look at the module. We'll crack this open, we'll install the module. Okay, so we've got the uh, S20 open and in the box you get a quick start guide. It also has a warranty registration card. So we are just going to install the module in this and in the next video we're going to fire it up and we're going to get used to the uh, interface that is provided for this. So what else do we get in this box? We get the system. We get this is the actual S20 itself. So you can see it's pretty tiny. Um, on the front they've got their logo and then you have all of your status lights. So power, system, WAN, LAN, one, two, three, four. So when you flip it around you've got four ports here you know that are for FXO or FXS ports. You've got LAN WAN. You got a TF card slot. You've got a reset button, and then you've got the modular power. So we'll go ahead and we're gonna. I don't know about you, but I love that noise. Uh, then on the bottom, you can see that we get a a plethora of mounting options. The other thing that comes. In the box is we get these plastic plastic feet. We get an Ethernet cable. 
and of course we get the power adapter. So now this is the S2 module that I was telling you about. All of the modules uh, that I know of that I've seen come in these little boxes and then of course they are in anti-static uh, bags. And so, like I said, this is the S2, which is gonna be our uh, two port FXS card. So, and this is what, what it looks like. And so it's modular. It's just gonna use these pins to just plug into the system. All right, so at looking at the bottom of our uh, PBX, we are going to need a Phillips screwdriver. It doesn't look like it's a large one, so this rando Phillips that I've got, let's see if it works. Yep, looks like it's going to work. So we'll get, uh, there's just four screws in the bottom of this that hold this together. And I have absolutely no idea besides a circuit board what we're going to find on the inside of this. We are going to find out. And maybe this isn't even the way you install the board. Maybe I'm just guessing. But uh, seems logical to me that you would remove the top uh, from the system and you have those long screws there. So... That's what the top inside part looks like, and I was correct. So now when we talk about the S20 having two modular slots, you can see slot one and uh, slot two. Also, look at this. There is a teeny tiny BIOS battery, it looks like, in there. So uh, that is fantastic. Otherwise, this thing looks like it's... There could be maybe some compact flash uh, underneath. That I don't, I don't know about, but all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our module and we're going to line the pins up and let's see. So it'd be the short pins in the front and the big pins in the back. And we are going to go into slot one, line the pins up. and then push the module down in. The module is now completely seated in the system. So now I'm gonna take the top, I'm gonna to put the top back on. And I believe it goes like this snaps down on there. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to put the screws back in. Back in. And now <clears throat> when we fire this uh, PBX up, we are going to have uh, two FXS ports available to us on the back. So that's it. I wanted to show you how to install this card. The next video on Yaystar will be firing this up. Something else I'm really excited about is Yaystar has asked us to be their United States training partner, providing two in-person trainings each year and four online trainings. So that is something that we're working on. I am working through all of the certifications for Yaystar right now, starting from their basic certification all the way up through their expert level certification. So I'm working on that training right now. And once that is complete, we will be working with Yaystar to announce those training dates. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Keep your eyes peeled for lots of videos on Yaystar. The other thing about Yaystar is they work with every other vendor's phones. If it's a SIP phone, it can work with Yaystar and they can auto provision a lot of phones. And we use Grandstream phones here. Now we are going to order some Yaylink phones, but 
I already know from working with the system that you can auto provision Grandstream and Yealink and a ton of other phones. So we're gonna get into all of those those features. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to come back for more Yaystar videos. So that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe, please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting for networking, whether it's wired or wireless, voice over IP, uh, storage with Synology or other projects with Synology. If you need information, security, and assurance, you can go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will reach out to you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you in touch with a vendor who can. That is our promise to you. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to become a patron on Patreon and support the channel that way, I appreciate all of those people. And the link for that is down below. Uh, if you want to buy a Yaystar system, and if you want to buy any of the other gear that you see here on the channel, the Amazon links are down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel. So once again, I, from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.